we'll now create our first card, which is the introduction card. So this card with the name, image, and different kinds of text. So we go inside our first column here, and we want to create the wrapping for our card. So we use the div tag with the class card. We also give it a margin in the bottom of four. Inside this, we'll first create our card header using an H2 heading element and the class card header. We'll center this text, so we'll add the text center utility class. Now, I'll add my name here and close the heading element again. Then, we'll insert the image in an image tag with the source being img slash profile dot jpg as we see up here. We'll give it the alt attribute with the value portrait of first name, last name. And we'll give it the class w-100 to make it span the full width of 100%. Under this, we'll create our card body, which is a div tag with the class card body. Inside this, we'll create different kinds of text. The first will be a lead paragraph. So we add the p tag with the class card text and then the class lead to make this a lead paragraph. I'll just paste in some random text here. And under this, we'll create a regular paragraph. So we add another p tag with the class card text. And I will once again paste in some random text here. Now we'll create a block quote. So we use the block quote element with the class block quote. We'll also center this text. So we add the class text center. We'll make the width 75%, so we add the class W-75. And then we want to center it, so we'll make the horizontal margin have the auto value using the class MX auto. Inside this, we'll first add a paragraph and remove the margin in the bottom using the class MB zero. I'll paste in some random text here. Then we'll create the block quote footer. So we use the footer tag with the class block quote footer. And I'll just add my name one more time and close this tag. After our block quote element, we'll add a third paragraph using the p tag with the class card text. Now paste in some text here and close it again. Save and take a look in the browser. Now we see that we have created our first card component. If we take a look at what the card text class does, we can see here that it isn't applied in the first two, but in the last one, it's applied. It's because it's looking for the last child, so the last instance of this card text, and then it removes the margin in the bottom. If we hadn't used this card text class, this wouldn't have been applied, so it would have this default margin in the bottom. This is why we want to use the card text class for paragraphs inside the card component.